How's it going guys? Welcome to another audio commentary. You're listening to Vol, and this game is between a Terran player by the name of RV Majayong and a Protoss player, Zealot SGW. And we're on the map Blue Storm for this one. Now, straight away, our Protoss player here is sending out a probe, and that means that he's going to be doing something pretty cheesy. This map is known for cheesy proxy rushes, so let's see what he does. Uh, a really don't like playing against this kind of play, but uh, some Protoss players are just so sh so shameless, or uh, you could say just so cunning, if you like, if you're into that sort of thing, that they do this sort of stuff, and we've got a Terran base who hasn't decided to wall in, um, that might be a bad move. We've got a double gate going down, so Zealots are going to be coming into this base really quickly, and Probe's going in for some harass. Nothing being built except for one pylon back at his, his home base. Um, by the way, the replay is in double speed because this uh, game is looking to be really long, so uh, we'll see how it turns out. I um, hope you guys don't mind the fast-paced action, I certainly prefer it if it's going to be a long game. Um, Terran player here has actually spotted the Protoss Proxy Rush, and uh, barely in time anyway, um, a bunker going down, and uh, Protoss building a a pylon inside the Terran base, so it looks like he's going to be going for some serious cheese. A forge going down. Oh god, this is this is real shameless stuff. This is this is just disgusting player. <laughs> uh, I, I hate saying this sort of sort of thing. He's he's going for a cannon rush as well as a proxy zealot rush. This guy just uh, does not let up. He's he's going for a cheesy easy win, but it looks like our Terran player here is not going to be going down uh, easily. He got the bunker up. He's got marines shooting at the zealots from range and uh, just floating that barracks away to get out of range of the um, the photon cannon there. And zealots moving around the top. We've got a, a vulture coming out. He's the Terran player's built a factory up in the corner wisely. Uh, looks like some some good micromanagement going on here by the, by the vulture. This is actually really good keeping the vulture alive, sniping at these zealots. I don't know how he does it, but this is brilliant stuff. Um, hasn't lost the vulture yet. Take out the probe. Take out the probe. Now the vulture's gone. Uh, soon those other Fodonkins are going to be coming up. It's going to be even harder for the um, Terran player to stop this. But uh, we've got another Vulture out, just sniping off of that Zealot. Unfortunately, uh, Micro's not good enough to stay away from the Photon Cannon. It just shoots too fast. And we've now got the entire Terran base taking hits from those two, two cannons, which are in range now. We've got a tank and siege mode coming up. Um, Protoss isn't, isn't expanding quite yet, but if we can get um, siege out, uh, Cybernetic score going up, maybe looking for some dra Dragoons, but... Um, oh, supply uh, supply depot is just about to go down. We've got zealot. Um, we've got SUVs frantically repairing it. It's uh, being reduced to about 50 or 60 health, and uh, just in the nick of time, managed to take out the the cannon. Um, siege modes come up. They come up. So Terran looks like he's he's fairly safe at this point. Now, um, let's see how we're going to get out of this. We've got tanks with siege mode, easily able to outrange their cannons, and looks like he's managed to fend off this rush initially at least, but let's see whether he's been uh, set back so much that he can't um, recover. And we've got now the pylons being destroyed freely by the Terran forces. But um, what is this Protoss player going to do next? We still haven't taken down the proxy um, gateways, and he's built some Dragoons now, so this looks like it could be a bit of a, a close fight here. More than enough tanks, but those tanks are going down quickly. Oh, he's lost the he's lost all but one tank. It's just one tank versus one Zealot uh, um, Dragoon, and the, the next Dragoon's out. Tank's being pushed back, so he's not going to be able to take out those proxy barracks, um, sorry, gateways yet. And, oh my god, we've got a, um, a Templar Archives out. Dr um, Dark Templar almost produced. I don't think we've... No, we haven't, haven't even got a scanner sweep. It's only defenses, mines, no scanner, no engineering bay. The, the Dark Templar is out. Managed to survive that mine. We've got another Dark Templar in space. Oh my god, this looks really bad for Terran. It's actually chopping down the command center. We've got um, a scanner going up now, but the Dark Templar is targeted. Take it out the scanner. This looks really horrendous. And having to actually blow up his own SCVs with mines inside his mineral line. Oh my god, he actually destroyed... Um, that Dark Templar, we've got two more Templars coming in, actually just knocking out um, enemy units freely. Finally, we've got a scan off and actually taken out both of those Dark Templars, but at what cost? We've actually lost a whole ton of SCVs. We've actually lost a bunch of units there. Still haven't got an expansion or command center up for the Terran yet. Um, putting mines down now just to save himself uh, because he's, he's going to be low on scanner energy and just desperately defending here. 
I'm really surprised that it's lasted for so long, but uh, we've got a Dark Templar deciding not to move in. Uh, too many mines going down, and at this point, just mines is the only defense. That Dark Templar is just going to stay there and, and basically protect that proxy gateway uh, set up from being destroyed uh, just yet. And Vultures speed upgraded just screaming past the Dragoons, and that's a pretty good move by Terran. Just got to put in some kind of counterattack here because you can't let the Protoss just get away with um, out. Um, Having a, having a stronger economy than him, basically, but uh, we've got some good defense there by Protoss, actually b walling in himself with um, pylons and photon cannons, so those vultures can't do a thing to his inner base. Looks like we might be scouting for an expansion or something there. Dragoons carelessly moving in and getting shot down by those tanks. So, just unit-wise, I think Terran has, has pretty much got a little bit of an advantage here. He'll be wanting to get that expansion up ASAP wisely putting in a turret now so that it doesn't have to keep wasting scans and now we've got some um, some mines coming in this um, vulture micromanagement we're seeing is actually really quite good and this might be it this might be what allows us to actually take out the the gateways here with the, with the Terran player coming in um, I was out taking a look around but again mines are just too well placed we've got tanks coming out now and finally we get rid of this double gateway proxy and that will be very useful just to sort of keep the Protoss forces out of the Terran players here at this, this point able to get an expansion down finally and get on with the game so that game really started off with a bang um, but it looks like we've got a whole lot more to go Protoss now getting a third base and rightly so you want to stay one base ahead of the Terran player if you're a Protoss player um, as the Vulture's just looking for opportunity hang on <coughs> excuse me uh, just, yeah, hopefully I'm not coming down with the cold. It's just uh, going into winter season over here in New Zealand. All right, vultures and tanks being produced in a little bit of a larger quantity now, and same with uh, the gateways pumping out troops over here. Game is just sort of taking, taking its turn into a more of a, a macro management uh, phase. But we've got vultures again, just looking around to lay as many mines as possible and just try and delay the Protoss player as long as he can. Uh, it's good that the Protoss player brought the Dragoons in there because there are some vulnerable uh, probes with not many photon cannons surrounding that Nexus. And Pro uh, Terran player, our friend the Terran player, is actually taking a third base um, quickly. And he can see that he's able to because the Vultures have already forged ahead and laid down enough mines uh, just to prevent the Protoss um, forces from getting there before he's all sieged up. And double armory going down for upgrades, I think that's generally a good idea just to get those... Um, plus one armor and, and weapons out as soon as you can in a situation like this at least and again we're seeing great vulture work management here he's just keeping those vultures alive for as long as possible laying down mines when he's being chased and um, the Protoss player is just not being able to do very much against them they're just making the most of them and oh, sneakily just luring the Protoss forces away from his base before getting a couple of probe kills there just sniping them away and that's really good stuff it's it's great if you can do that while macro managing at home and keeping that force of t uh, tanks being built up so that you can actually defend your third base when it when it appears there but um, we've still got a large amount of Protoss forces here he could actually push in at any moment and inflict some serious damage if if you actually get some zealots next to those mines, because when you've got mines that close to your tanks, um, just a few zealots moving in, surviving the initial tank shots, uh, will cause some serious damage. And he looks like he's going to be moving in now. Oh my god, um, mines are going off. Mines are actually destroying the, the tanks. Uh, we're going, getting low on tank numbers. I think all the tanks have been taken out. The Dragoons are moving in. But um, luckily some reinforcements tanks have, have arrived. And we've got Arbiters. We've got Arbiters here. And that could be trouble for Terran if he doesn't really get some, some a, a bulky army really uh, established here. Um, Arbiters are, a, are just a, a range of trouble, basically. You've got you've to re, be really careful with keeping scans. And there we've got a, um, a stasis field going off in one of the tanks. SCV is desperately trying to defend here. Luckily, uh, the Protoss forces have been reduced to a very small number. And um, if we can get some reinforcements in here, targeting the command center, frantically repairing the, the command center, we don't want to lose that. Uh, luckily, oh, some tanks have arrived. Uh, zealots moving in to take up the tanks, though. It came around from the, um, the gap in the natural expansion from behind. And still that um, command center is being shot down. Uh, 
but there, there should be enough tanks to hold us off. Yeah, so long as he keeps keeps up with the scanners, just make sure he doesn't waste too many scanners. He can actually hold that sort of thing off, and uh, the Protoss player is going to have to wait until he gets some more reinforcements. But Protoss player now on four bases, Terran on three bases. Arbiter still being produced. Uh, we know that he's got stats.